The amusement park, of course, has played a major role in American culture. Uh, it was a place to meet your friends, to enjoy life with your friends, to put aside the cares and worries of the day. Uh, and uh, uh, it, had, uh, it had a meaning, I think, to us beyond just entertainment. The first time I went to Palisade Amusement Park, I was maybe 14 or 15 years old, which made it 1938 or 39. And we met two girls in the park, and we went on a roller coaster together, and we, we had the most wonderful afternoon. Oh, it, it brings back so many memories, you know. It, it really is a place where people grew up, which was very nice. That's great. The hot dogs were good. I still love the hot dogs. And the french fries. You mustn't forget the french fries. It was great times, great times. I think everything about Palisades Amusement Park was magical. The fact that it, the location was so ideally located to Manhattan, Greater New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. These places had a very special quality for us growing up, and they were the, yeah, they were the magical kingdoms of our town. Palisades Park was, uh, it was a place that we all shared love and we all shared fun and feelings. And we all knew that we were there for one reason, to have a good time and to spend a great afternoon or an evening. There's something wonderful about uh, some of these places that we uh, carry forward with us into adulthood. We carry them usually in memory. And sometimes it's just uh, a smell of popcorn or maybe uh, cotton candy will do it for you. Uh, and you're right back there. It's interesting in the number of people that I've talked to about Palisades Amusement Park, there are two words that almost invariably come up in the course of the conversation. The words are fond memories. <laughs>